You know what that funky music means. Welcome back, you're live with Expresso, and it's time for our Monday Tech Digest with our tech expert, Brian Smith. Today, we're gonna to take a look at three open sourced tech innovations that have had a huge impact on the world and will probably continue to do so. Brian, welcome back. Always great to Thank connect you. with you, my Thank friend. Um, first of all, what, is, what does open source mean? So that's a really great question, and typically open source relates to software, although the lines between that are blurred. Yeah. And open source, so open source software might closely refer to software that's easily available online through which developers can download, make additions to, then re-upload for all sorts of different commercial purposes. And, and why would people do that? Why would they not protect their intellectual property? Why would people put it out there? Most of the time it's in the spirit that this is such a great idea, let's share it with the world and see what people can do with it. At other times it's people who just have simply have no interest in commercializing the product themselves. They're going in a different route. So let's look at some of the innovations. This one surprised me a little bit. The seat belt Definitely. is actually one innovation that's come out of an open source source. <laughs> 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 Definitely, and I think this is a really good example for how open source philosophy began before software and code was even around, in that uh, the seatbelt was first patented in around the 1900s, but it was Swedish car manufacturers who first introduced that as standard. Now, the design for seatbelts is openly available, and that's why they're in ubiquity on vehicles as we know them today. And that's really special because if we think about the amount, the, the number of lives that seatbelts have saved in motor vehicle accidents, etc. It's a standard, yeah. So, so the Swedish might actually be the safest cars <laughs> on the road, as they claim. Uh, then I think most notably, certainly from a cell phone era, the smartphone era, Android began as an open sourced um, operating system. Definitely. So I think Android is perhaps the, the best example of how great and how accessible open soft, uh, source software can be. Uh, so I think most of us are synonymous with Android and perhaps in the sense that Google manufactures it for a host of different yeah. smartphones. But Android is actually open source software, so anyone can download Android and make tweaks, suggestions, contributions uh, to its code. Most notably, Android is now the most proliferated operating system wow. in the entire world. And it's not just being used on smartphones, it's being used on tablets, a hardware such as laptops, etc. So it's really a great indication of how far open source software can go. And I suppose you, you make so many more discoveries because you, you're getting this collective, this collaborative Intuitive. push in that, in that same direction. Um, and then this one, probably more on the fringe, but I think that's changing. I've even got mates now who have got 3D printers. <laughs> that kicked off in the open source um, realm. Well, this I really find fascinating because if you consider traditional manufacturing, that occurs in what's called a closed loop, when you have manufacturers with their own proprietary processes making their own proprietary products. Yeah, once they've products. got a machine down, they lock yeah. it down, patent it, and it Precisely, and we, key, the general yeah. public, never hear about it. Uh, and 3D printers are threatening to usurp that. So a lot of the components that make up certain 3D printers are themselves open source, which leads manufacturers all around the world to make different products using that technology. But of course, the designs you can create using a 3D printer are all com mostly commonly accessible on the internet through open source software platforms. And that's really exciting because it totally disrupts the manufacturing process and lets people all around the world create items they really need. Gonna have to start thinking of different ways of commercializing <laughs> uh, these spaces. Brian, that's, that really is awesome. Thank you so much for that. Hopefully that's opened a window into the value of going open source and uh, it's playing out in some simple everyday um, things like a seatbelt. Next time you, you feel that safety, know that that happened because of an open source drive. I love that. Thanks again to Brian and be sure to let us know what exciting um, new tech world is getting your attention. Hit us up on expressoshow.com.